We are going to briefly show you how to load the GDMSS application and what it looks like for our Avalonix DVRs. Click on the application menu for your Google Android phone. Click on the GDMSS application you've already installed. Application loads up. Let's briefly go through the different options. The About section tells you a little bit about how to use this application. The local configuration, there's only real one uh, configuration option you can set, which is the speed control for your PTZ that you can configure by scrolling through this bar. Look at save photos or snapshots you've taken of your video. Here's a favorite camera listing that you saved while viewing your DVRs. In the device list, it shows you which DVRs you have configured and there's a check mark in blue for the DVRs that have been configured properly. And a live preview which shows you the DVRs that you have connected and four cameras from any of those DVRs. In this case we're connected to a 32 channel DVR and we have four cameras up for view. We have camera one, two, three, and four. You can bring up a camera in full view on your application by double clicking on it and double clicking again to minimize it. Here we're looking at cam 5. In our section here in camera 4 we have camera 5 configured. You can choose another camera if you want to see here in the grid by selecting or actually clicking on the file menu. Going to your device list you click on the DVR you have. Select the camera you'd like to see. In this case I want, I want to see camera 9 and pulls up camera 9 for me. Go back select again. I want to put this back on camera 5. Now let's say you, if you had a PTZ camera connected you could double click on that camera click on this icon here on the bottom right and it brings up the PTZ controls. Here we have, here we have the uh, up and down arrows right and left, zoom in zoom out focus in and out and shutter icons. If you want to exit that, click on the PTZ icon one more time. Brings you back. If you have a microphone in your camera or an accessory microphone connected to your camera, you can choose to listen or not listen to that audio when you're in the full screen view of that camera. So in this case we have audio on. If you click on it again, it'll turn the audio off. If we want to go back to a four, four screen camera view, we double click again. If you press the back key, it'll exit the program. If you want to stop a camera view, you simply just click on this left hand side icon here. It stops that camera from being able to be seen. So here we're going to stop this camera as well. Let's say if you want to add this as a favorite, you can click on the favorite heart icon. Or if you want to take a snapshot, you click on the snapshot icon you go back into save photos and you can see that picture here and you can actually pull this thing off your SD card and save it or print it press back on your phone it brings you back to the main menu and then press back again to exit so this is a brief demonstration of what this Google Android application for our Avalanche DVRs can do for you